What is going on guys? Today we have second inform Fabinho player review coming next. <laughs> So today, starting off this review with a bang, look at the team that I'm playing with. He's got Van Dijk as his centre-back partner. He has got David Silva sitting in front of him with Walker on his right. And in net, we have none other than Team of the Year, De Gea, the absolute animal that is De Gea. So, team is looking on point, to be honest. As you can tell as well, I've got the uh, foot champs, Pedro, waiting for its review as well. Um, just sitting on that right wing. And actually, not that bad. I was expecting to be a lot worse. So, that will be coming very shortly, um, depending on what the promo says tonight. Because that looks like it's going to be something decent. So, overall, what can I say about this card price-wise? We're looking at 350k on the PS4 and 370k on the Xbox. Again, as Foot Champs is coming closer and the promo is a brand new promo, I really don't want to suggest buying him just yet. Personally, my my opinion would be to wait either till Monday now um, or possibly if you if you get seeing this video and wanting him straight away, I'd possibly grab him before the the promo just because I don't know what's happening. It may be that packs are released and he does drop a little bit, but I don't think he'll drop for long. Um, I think people are knowing that he's a very he's a very OP card, just saying that now. Um, so I don't really know what the price is going to say with this, but 350 370 I think that's quite a nice price to pick him up for. Um, I don't think he'll drop too much more, and if he does drop, I reckon he'll go straight back up after he's out of packs. So... Overall card stats compared to the first in form that he got, which was CDM, he has got a plus two pace and shooting and then plus one on everything else. And he stands at 75 pace, 72 shooting, 81 passing, 80 dribbling, and then the 286 is with his defense and physicality. So overall, cards looking pretty naughty. That That is basically it. Review done. Is is awesome. He's very very good. Um, going into some basic information on this card, we have got six foot two, very nice for a centre back. Medium medium work rate. Work, no, medium medium work rate. So let's get my words out there. Um, obviously, that's kind of the the CDM role that I like. Uh, medium medium is quite nice. Whereas a defensive, you kind of want that high defensively, but. It works. I think it still works all together with that, and I don't think that causes too much of an issue. He has only got two-star weak foot and three-star skill moves, but again, I think it works that he's been pushed back into a centre-back just because I don't need them to have five-star weak foot, four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. The weak foot would be nice, but regardless, I think it works just fine, possibly bringing him on to his, the left-hand side as he is right footed i believe yes he is right footed um so that's a bit of a bummer but to be honest you can work with it it, it doesn't really matter too much for my liking um then we move on into the statistics his top what top five stats but a couple have got the same rate and he has got 95 stamina very very nice can go all game under in 20 minutes no problem for this card then he has 94 penalties, just in case you do manage to get to that penalty shootout. He more than likely will take one with that 94. Then he's got 90 stand tackle. He has got 87 aggression, slide tackle, and composure. 86 short pass, interceptions, and reactions. And finally, he has 85 ball control. So again, just look at the size of them stats. That is fucking amazing. Total stat-wise, he's got 2272 really good as well um if you've seen any of the reviews with some of the higher players that is pretty much where a lot of the top players are sitting around is between the 2250 and the 2300 um i think that's roughly where fifa's kind of putting them and then any above 90 are kind of going a little bit of a bit of but can't i just can't speak on this review already above and beyond got that out eventually so chemistry style wise i've personally put a shadow on him just to boost that pace up just that little bit more and what it does for your card is it puts a plus 15 on acceleration which takes it up to an 87 plus 10 on your sprint speed which takes that up to an 86 again a plus 10 on interceptions which takes it up to a 96 
Did I say sprint speed 96? 86 sprint speed, 96 interceptions. I really can't talk in this this review. Um, then he gets plus 5 heading accuracy that takes it up to an 81. A plus 10 marking which takes it up to a 94. Plus 5 stand tackle that takes it up to a 95. And a plus 12 slide tackle which takes it up to 99. So the chem style uh, shadow definitely does wonders for me. Personally, that's my favoured one. Just because it takes that pace up to about an 86 overall. And then the defensive stats are just heightened that little bit more. So, going into the overall review of this card personally. This card in general was used quite a lot it as well anyway. I think the normal cards used pretty much... I'm going to say it's probably one of the most BPL cards used. But I think it may be one of the most cards used in the game. I, I don't, I've not done any factual research on that. But I just know I see this card a hell of a lot. So... It is well known that this card is very, very good. Um, so the inform was good, the other inform's good, and then this card is nonetheless no different. It is a very, very nice card, and I think the centre back kind of really makes it interesting for me. It's the first time I've really liked a position change. I'm, I'm thinking maybe just this FIFA. There's probably others that I've forgot, but this is a really nice position change for me and I think it actually works and I'm so happy that I got the foot champs version because I just don't want to get rid of it and I'm glad that he's got him untradeable but the one thing that I'd really really like from this card and I know I've just said that I like him in the center back role is if there was a flashback David Luis in CDM now that would be the perfect move Depending on obviously his stats because more than likely he's going to be a 90-91. It'd be a nice little swap for me if I could swap the him into centre back. But we'll see if that comes. I feel like David Luiz has most definitely got to get a flashback at some point. But whether it will be centre back or CDM will be the judge. I think CDM would be would be a, such a good move for EA. And I'm saying that just because I want it. So I'm being greedy but that's what I want. So... If I wanted to personally judge this card on just the centre-back role, I really can't find many faults with him. I think he's very fast. He's got very good defensive style. I really like how he's he just gets there. And then that's what I really like with the Van Dyke pairing as well. And you add Walker to this. They're so quick that you don't really want to come up against him. So... Personally, I really can't find fault with defensive-wise. I think if I was to put him in the midfield, the only thing that I could say about this card that I really don't like is his shooting. But that's purely because he's a CDM. So I don't even need to, to review that he's got bad shooting because he's only got like 72 shooting or something like that. So he's never going to be a good shooter. If you have him as a CDM, I really don't think you're going wrong. And if you have him as the centre-back, again, I don't think you're going very wrong. Personally, I think this card is fantastic, and I will hype him up to the max. I really, really like him, and I think many people will be using this. And going forward, if they can, if Liverpool can manage to beat Bayern, um, I'll be absolutely gutted the fact that I want to get his UCL live. But realistically, the the only rating that I can give this card is a massive 10 out of 10. I, I don't come to many cards that I actually enjoy playing with like this. And putting the Van Dyke and Fabinho pairing together. I've not tried him with Bailly yet. The inform that's on my bench. But I think he's just fantastic with this. And it's a great pairing. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd definitely suggest you go try him out. So, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give me, my, me that smash of a like button. Make sure you subscribe for more player reviews coming very soon. I believe Pedro's coming next. But there may be some promo video coming up at 6pm depending on how that goes. Um, and let me know in the comment section below, Have you? do you like his normal card? Have you used his first in form? Have you got his UCL live? Or have you got the man himself in foot champs? Let me know down below because I'm absolutely hyped for this card. And I think it's absolutely insane. So, I'll see you all again for the next review. Peace!